Welcome, Molly. We are back to a new project this week. I hope you're ready for some painting fun. We are going to be learning about color and color theory. That's a big word, so we probably won't use that again, but we're just going to be talking about basically how to mix a bunch of different colors. So we're going to be making these um, primary and secondary color bubbles and I just want you to follow along with me and we're going to talk about these different colors as we go and then sometime probably for our next lesson next week we're going to work on learning how to mix all of those colors on our own. So the supplies you will need today are that long sheet of paper that I sent home. Now this has a shiny side and a rough side, and it's very hard for you to see that here, but you'll be able to feel it. One side feels really smooth. You do not want to paint on that side. I will make sure that I put your, your name on it on the front. So I'm going to put Mrs. I just wrote Mrs. J on mine. I'll put you, Molly, I'll put yours on the side that I want you to paint on. So that's important that you paint on the side that's not um, as smooth. You will also need a pencil, an eraser, your watercolors. These are just the palette watercolors I have. You can use your Crayola. And I have a couple of paint brushes. These are both round paint brushes. One's a big one and one's a small one. So whatever ones you have at your house, it's, but you'll probably want the round ones and not the flat ones. You also are going to need a paper towel to wipe your wet brush on and a container of water for your watercolors. And you're going to need something that is big and round. So I have this pickle lid. You could have a pickle lid, or you could do like the bottom of a jar or a bottle, but we're going to use that to make our circles on our paper. So you can go, pause the video and go and find all of the supplies that you might need. You could even like use a cup and trace around the cup, like this is just a circle cup. You could do that too. We're going to get started by using our round container and our pencil. And you can see here, we want to make one, two, three, four, five, six circle bubbles. And we're going to have them overlap each other. That means that one part of a circle will be over another part of a circle. So we're going to do those together. We need at least six, but if we got a couple more, that would be fine too. That'll be actually kind of fun. So I'm going to do my first one kind of close to the top of my paper. You can see I have my paper the horizontal way, the hot dog way. So once I have my first circle down, I'm going to put my lid you can see I'm overlapping. I'm putting it over top of that first circle part way. And I'm going to go around. And you can see I've got some little bumps. That's from the ridges of the lid. And that's fine. So you can see how these overlap. I want them to overlap in a big enough space because we're going to be painting different colors in each of these. And we want those to be easy to paint. So we want them big enough. So I'm going to overlap it again like that. And then, so you can see I've got one, two, three circles. I'm going to do it again. And this time I'm going to kind of move it up. And then I'll do it again over here. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do six. And I have room for one more. And because I love painting, I'm going to add one more. If you don't have enough room because your circle was bigger than mine, that's fine. But you have to have at least six. We're going to set that aside and we're going to set our pencil aside. 
and we're just going to look at a couple of colors. Now you can see on this color wheel that it looks like a rainbow. The colors are divided and they go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Now these, this color wheel is a way that artists um, are able to understand how colors work together. Now there are certain colors, and those are the ones we're going to paint with first, that are called primary colors. Primary colors are the colors that mix to make all other colors. So red, yellow, and blue are our primary colors. And every other color is created by mixing red, yellow, and blue in different ways. So that's why they're called primary. They're first. There are first colors. And you can see they kind of make a triangle on this color wheel. Now the ones next to them are what we call secondary colors. And those are orange, green, and violet, or purple. And those colors like I said before, are made from our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Those are the, the six colors that we are going to use today on our colored bubbles. Now, you can mix even more colors with these um, primary colors, but we're going to focus on these um, six colors today. We're going to start with our red. I think of red as the first primary color. And we are going to use our paintbrush, and you want to get it nice and wet. And we're just going to start to get your red paint palette wet. Now, on your Crayola paint, you know, you just want to, you can see how full mine is with water. You just really want to mix it in there and get it really saturated, that means filled with water. Now we are going to be painting, we'll look back at our example, our first bubble with red and our fourth bubble with red. And we're gonna paint only part of it. We're not going to paint the overlapping parts. We're just going to paint our first and fourth bubble with red. And you can see my first bubble is up here. And I'm going to start by making an outline. And that's basically going to tell my paint where it's allowed to go. I don't want it in here because that's going to be the color that's mixed. That's going to be a secondary color, not a primary color. Now I used my small brush to put this color down. This is actually kind of a pink red, but I'm going to, so that was my small one. I'm going to use my large one here. And I'm just going to fill up and I think I've got my uh, kind of a redder. This is a little pink. I'm just going to get that wet. Let's see if I can make sure it's red enough. And I'm going to fill that in. I don't want my paint to go anywhere else. That's my pink bubble. Now I want to do my fourth bubble as well. So I've got one, two, three, four. So I'm going to outline again because I don't want to do the parts that are overlapped. And now I know what section I'm going to paint red. So again, I'm not going to do the overlapped parts. This bubble has two circles it overlaps with, so I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to add a little more water to my brush. I have one extra bubble as well. 
because I did seven. And so really this is every third. So this would also be another one that I would do. So if you did more bubbles, you could do your next one um, red as well if you did a seventh bubble, but not where it overlaps. When your paints are getting a little bit dry and they're harder to spread, then that means you're supposed to add water. You can see I need to add a little bit of water to mine. And there we have it. Our three red bubbles. I'm going to clean my brush and then I want to make sure that it is, doesn't have any red left on it. So I'm um, uh, rubbing off the extra water onto the paper towel. The next color that we want to do that's a primary color is yellow. You can see that from the color wheel and that means we're going to get our yellow wet in our palette and again you want to add enough um, water to make it spread. All of our main bubbles are going to be our primary colors and the areas that they overlap will be our secondary colors because then that's going to tell us what colors make mix to make each other. So the second bubble is going to be yellow. I'm doing my outline again. I You could use your smaller brush if that's easier. This is kind of um, a small skinny area here, so my smaller brush might be helpful. I put the outline in and then that'll help keep my paint um, going only where it's supposed to. And there we have that one. I just love how those colors look together. Now we're going to do every, so I'm going to do the bubble next to this red one as well. Just going to do the same thing. I'm going to outline and fill it in. If your yellow is not spreading as well, just get it wet. Get it more wet. like that. I hope you're having fun. I love how bright these colors are. So the next primary color, there are three of them again, so we've got red, yellow, and the next one, do you know what the next one is? Do you remember from our color wheel? It's blue. So I'm getting my blue very wet. So go ahead and get yours wet. And we're going to do our last two bubbles with that primary color. I'm going to do the outline first. Just like we did on the other one. I'm getting paint all over my table. That reminds me, <laughs> if you want to protect your work surface, you can put an extra sheet of paper underneath your painting and your paint palette. So there I have my blue and I have this bubble right here. And once I have it outlined just fill it in and then it keeps the paint where it's supposed to be it won't let it go where it's not supposed to you can just add a little water to spread out that paint those are our three primaries so I didn't tell you to do this but um, I think if you have one of your sharpie markers pause the video if you don't have one, let's go grab our Sharpie markers and let's mark our primary colors. I know by now 
Molly, that you've been working hard on your letters and what the sounds that they make. So we're going to write the different colors by their bubble. While we wait for these to dry a little bit, we're going to go ahead and put their names. And at any point, if you need to pause the video, you can go ahead and do that. Red is spelled with an R. Then the letter E. And then the letter D. If you want to write them all in lowercase, I did that that um, R in uppercase, I'll do this one in lowercase. R, E, D. And I'm going to do that, I have that extra bubble, so I'm going to do that here too. I like to make big R's, they make me happy. So I've got my reds, so red is a primary, this one, this one's yellow, so let's put the yellow in. I'll put the yellow up here. Y, E, L, L, O, W. And we're going to put, we'll label our yellow here. I'll do it up here again. Y E L L O W. And then we have our blue. And blue is fun because we've got our B L U E. And we've got that over here on this bubble, B, L, U, E. I want you to take as much time as you need to label each of your bubbles with our primary colors. This, if you need help from your mom or your dad, you can do that. But I suspect you're probably very good at writing your letters by now. So those are our primary colors and they're important because they make all the other colors. We are going to look at the colors that overlap and when we mix these two together then we get a specific color and this little bubble chart we're making will always help you remember. So I'm going to take my smaller brush. Now I know that you have uh, these colors, orange and yellow, and red and blue and green, those are already in your palette. And so I want you to go ahead, we're not going to mix our own colors today, we're just going to use the colors that have already been mixed for us, but to, um, next week we're going to try mixing our own colors. But just because we want our chart to, to um, work out really well, we're just going to use uh, the ones that are already mixed for us. So I'm doing just what I did before. I outlined it with my thinner brush, and now I'm going to use... I've got a dark orange and a light orange, so I'm kind of mixing those together. And then I'm just going to fill in the space. So red, when you mix it with yellow, it makes a secondary color, which is called orange. So any place where we have red and yellow meeting, we need to put orange. So this would be where red and blue meet, and this is where yellow and blue meet. But here is another one of our orange spaces. You want to clean your brush really well. And the next color we're going to do 
is the color that when we mix yellow and blue, the color that we get is green. That's one of our secondary colors again that we looked at on the color wheel. And we're just going to get our brush nice and wet and use that to make our paint palette really wet. And I'll do just, uh oh, you can see. Do you see how it's getting in the yellow? And we don't want that to happen. So I'm taking my paper towel and I just put it over that spot. That's called lifting out. I took out the paint. It was going where I didn't want it to go. So there we have our yellow and blue. They make green. So the other spot that we have yellow and blue meeting, that is where we want to put our other green area. And I just, I was going to do the outline and I just filled it all the way in. But you know, you know what we've been doing. Kind of fill the outline in. These are smaller spaces so they go faster to paint. The last color that we are going to be using is the color that's created when we have blue and red and we mix those together. I have two spots for that. So if you did seven circles like I did, you should have two spots left and that should be where the blue and the red overlap. Now on my paint palette, I think I'm trying to find the right color. Um, blue and red make purple. So if you don't have, ew, that's a yucky brown purple. I don't like that purple at all. That means I'm going to have to mix my own. So I'm going to take a little bit of my blue and I'm going to move it to the center. If you have purple, you just use your purple, okay? That's already mixed. I just don't like that. That is so... Blech. I'm going to use some of this red. And we're going to mix that together. And what happens is we get... Well, that's pretty blue. That's a very blue purple. So what I think I'm going to do is add a little bit of red to it. And you can see what happens. And there's our purple. Like that. And I'm going to put that over this space too. Purple can get really dark. So if you feel like yours is too dark, you can take that paper towel and you can press it on there and you can lift it up. You see how much lighter that got? <clears throat> but I took some of that out because it was that dark. It was the first purple I made that was a little bit too blue. So I'm just going to add a little bit more of that mixed purple I made. Okay, Molly. So we have all of our primary colors. We have red, yellow, and blue. But now we have our secondary colors. We have orange, green, and purple. The last thing we want to do today is we are going to take our Sharpie marker again. I'm gonna move my paint brushes to the side. And we are going to write the names of our other colors. Now I'm going to have to, I'm going to move my paint so I, you can see my writing. I'm going to put a little arrow like that, that's pointing to the orange, O-R-A-N-G. E, orange. I'm going to make another arrow that's pointing to the green and I'm going to write G 
R E E N. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue. I think, I don't want to write upside down. I'm going to do an arrow pointing to the purple here. And I'm going to write P U R P L E. So pause the video if you need to to write those out. I'm going to make another arrow pointing to my orange and I'm going to put in orange again. O R A N G E. And we'll do the very same thing for the green. G R E E N. And then we're going to put an arrow pointing here towards our purple. And let's do that one more time. P U R P L E. I want you to pause the video and fill all that in. We have one last thing we're going to do so we can remember our special colors. I want you to grab any marker that you have that it doesn't matter what kind. I'm just going to use what I have in front of me. So I'm going to use this yellow marker that I have. And we are going to put a line with the yellow underneath our primary colors. So we know they're the special ones. They're the ones that come first. So we're going to put it under the red. We're going to put it under the yellow. And we're going to put it underneath the blue. And we're going to do that again. Red, yellow, blue. And that's the way we'll know that our primary colors that mix all the other ones are the outlined colors. I hope you had a lot of fun making our color bubbles. And I hope that you will keep this around so you can see what happens when you mix two primary colors together. So you can see whether they make orange or whether they make green or whether they make purple. Post your um, colored circles on Seesaw and I look forward to seeing everything that you did, Molly. Have a great day.